Today, we're going to cook perfect air fryer chicken. These chicken breasts turn out tender and juicy, and I'm going to show you how to cook fresh or frozen chicken so you'll get great results every time. To get started, preheat your air fryer to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. To determine the proper cooking time for chicken, I like to go by the thickness of the chicken breasts. A breast that is a half inch thick will cook in nine to 10 minutes. You'll need to add roughly five to seven minutes of cooking time for every additional half inch. A one inch chicken breast will cook in approximately 15 minutes and a one and a half inch breast will cook in roughly 20 to 22 minutes. If you're cooking more than one piece of chicken, make sure that they are both roughly the same size so that they will finish cooking at the same time. Today, I'm using two eight ounce chicken breasts that are about one inch thick. To prepare the chicken, rub each chicken breast with a drizzle of olive oil to help lock in the moisture. Season one side with a quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning and a quarter teaspoon of salt, then rub that in. Flip the chicken over and season with another quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning and salt. When the air fryer is done preheating, arrange the chicken breasts in a single layer in the air fryer basket. Since I'm using one inch chicken breasts, I'm going to start by cooking these at 360 degrees for 10 minutes. When the timer goes off, flip the chicken and cook for another five minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Keep in mind that the chicken will continue to cook after you remove it from the air fryer so you can remove it when it reaches 160 degrees and then let it rest for five to 10 minutes. This helps the chicken finish cooking and retain its juices. So you'll wind up with perfectly juicy and tender results every time. If you only have frozen chicken on hand, you can cook frozen chicken breasts in your air fryer too. In my experience, frozen chicken requires nearly double the cooking time compared to fresh. To get started, cook the frozen chicken in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 360 degrees. I consider this the thawing step and it helps remove any ice from the outside so your seasonings will stick to the chicken. Remove the chicken from the air fryer and season with the olive oil, poultry seasoning, and salt, just like we did with the fresh version. Return the seasoned chicken to the air fryer and cook for 15 more minutes if you're using chicken breasts that are one inch thick. At this point, it's important to use a meat thermometer so you can check the internal temperature until the chicken reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to flip the chicken and cook for five more minutes. And once it reaches the proper temperature, be sure to let it rest before slicing and serving. You can store cooked chicken in an airtight container in the fridge for up to three days, so you can cook as much as you'll use as part of your meal prep routine. I love using it as a salad topper, and the seasoning is neutral enough that it goes with practically any recipe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to also check out my air fryer salmon tutorial for another easy protein that you can cook in your air fryer.